Hi everyone, my name is Atiya. Welcome back to my channel. I make content about PhD, mindset, YouTube, wellness, everything under the sun. If you are planning to take admission for PhD and you are concerned about what is a PhD proposal and how to go about it, okay? Because the thing you will do once you take admission is give a proposal presentation. So what is it? and how to go about it, everything I will tell you in detail about this. So proposal presentation comes after you have selected the topic. I have done a detailed video about how to choose the perfect topic for your PhD and I'll leave it over here and I'll also leave it in the end card. PhD proposal means a document that will tell to the world that okay, you have you are going to start working on this particular topic and this will be your rough outline and this would be the methodology. So as far as PhD proposal is concerned, there are two things. There is a document, word document, and then you have to give a presentation based on that. So today's video would be an in-depth, detailed video about the PhD proposal presentation that you will be giving. Okay, assuming that your document is there in place. So how to form the presentation, how to go about delivery, all that I'm going to speak about in today's video. When exactly you give PhD proposal, as I've said, it's once you have taken admission, you have finalized your topic, and if you have any coursework, then this will come after your coursework. This is the trend in bit set list. I don't know about other universities. Sometimes some universities and institute, you don't, you don't have to wait for that long. Okay, I had to wait for almost one and a half year like that to give my proposal. But I have divided this video into two parts. First, how to make the slides of your presentation. So what kind of software and everything, what are the aspect ratio. Secondly, how to prepare for the pre presentation. In that, I will tell you what are the most commonly asked doubts which are there from research scholars and how to deal with anxiety and all that. So as far as the slides go, you can use Microsoft PPT. There are several other online softwares also. My suggestion is use Canva, okay? And I'll tell you why. First of all, it's free. You don't have to sign up. Okay, you don't need a pro account. Secondly, everything gets stored online and you just have to log in and get retrieve everything. Thirdly, the kind of effects which are there and the kind of templates which are there, they are, they are just amazing. If you have been using Microsoft PPT and you are thinking whether to switch or no, just for the proposal presentation, you can use Canva. The kind of templates which are there, they are so different, so unique. You will never go back to Microsoft. That is my promise. Fourthly, while doing presentation to yourself, while practicing, I'm saying, you can actually do it for yourself. Like how they have screen recording, you can do like that. Maybe I'll do a Canva tutorial sometime later. I would say use ratio 16 by 9 and 1920 by 1080 pixels okay i don't know if px means pixels or no but while creating a design this is the aspect ratio that i would suggest for this so this gives you a re really broad area and you can actually put a lot of things into that i would suggest you take the help of your seniors get any slide or anything that has their presentation then secondly sometimes like bits has a logo then on each slide there is a red and a blue kind of lines that we have to put so that is the template given by bits so if your institute has such a template or university has such a thing then you have to make sure that it goes into that first slide would be the title your name your supervisor's name if there is any other committee which is associated with your research then you have to do that the slide zero would be name and all so the next thing the first thing would be introduction and there are few things that i want to suggest in the introduction keep it limited to seven to eight points keep it in bullet forms 
not in paragraphs but when you are writing in bullet forms don't just write a point write the full sentence see there are two schools of thoughts both use bullet points you do point 1 point 2 point 3 okay and it is just one short point it's not a sentence and sometimes you put a sentence and then you elaborate it so i would suggest put a full sentence so one sentence and then you can elaborate it okay then you can explain and build on it while you are speaking to the audience so in each slide you can put 3 to 4 sentences then in next slide 3 to 4 sentences in between that i would suggest you to put a diagram it could be a chart it could be a figure could be anything related to your work and make it a diagrammatic representation that you can explain i don't suggest putting a separate subheading as literature review in the presentation in the document you have to put so what you will do is while explaining the introduction the slide is there and you will be explaining point 1 right in point 1 what is the literature study that is going on that you will explain in point 2 what is the literature study that you will explain in point 3 what is the literature study that you will explain so you will explain point wise and combine literature review with introduction there is no need to separate it under the introduction only the final few lines would be what are the limiting things which are there in the study okay and you can just mention briefly and it should lead to your second slide that is gaps so what does gaps mean gaps means limitation you have done literature review everything and you have gone through the literature these these things are being done so what is not being done and how your work fits in that you will explain in gaps next will come your objectives objectives has to be in bullet point forms keep it to a point okay not to a sentence sentence means starting till ending but keep it to a point okay to distinguish this is a sentence this is a point okay divide it into sub objectives so it becomes easier for the audience also to understand what is going on next slide would be your methodology methodology means what process will you follow and i highly suggest using diagrams for this methodology is as per what you think the process is so it will get changed later just be mindful of that what is the difference between work plan and methodology work plan is timed in methodology you have mentioned say suppose five steps so step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 step 5 so in work plan you will put it as phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 phase 4 phase 5 in phase 1 maybe you will finish one objective and second objective in phase 2 maybe you will finish third objective in phase 3 you may finish fourth objective and fifth objective and phase 5 is for thesis writing thesis writing would take one phase moving on to the next would be references so references the format you will have to check with previous things usually for proposal it's lenient and you don't have to do much so whatever referencing style you can do because this is you are not publishing a paper this is a proposal for proposal 10 to 15 references are generally enough moving on to the next part of this video how do you prepare for presentation the key is to prepare very well okay and prepare very well meaning prepare from all angles if you are doing on canva then you, there is an option to present and screen record yourself and send it to your supervisor and maybe your seniors if they are if you are close to them for an audit okay. i'll also leave a link of a coursera course so if you are on this channel then i have recommended it in some of the videos this is a course it's free you can just audit it it will take you from presentation slides how to do to delivery part the second point is to speak as if you are telling a story we speak everything in terms of bullet points and all that and even if the bullet point is there explain as if you are telling a story then the third point is regarding questions asked by audience while preparing and while explaining to the audience you will keep the positives in mind so these are the advantages of my work 
this will be how my work will affect but your audience will ask you from the viewpoint of limitation okay so what you will do is for every positive thing that you are saying there will be something negative okay the research works like that if you if there is a method you are following this method there will be advantages there will be disadvantages while explaining you have to speak about disadvantages okay but while answering the questions you have to know that there are limitations and how you will counter it like when i was giving a proposal presentation backup of slides is important if it's in canva it's stored online while downloading you can download it in pdf format it looks quite neat because sometimes i see in presentation format in ppt form dot ppt if you present then sometimes some things get misplaced before starting to prepare you have to know what is the time limit the slides will remain the same but the length of your explanation will change so my suggestion is usually the time limit is around 15 to 20 minutes what you will do is prepare for 30 minutes and depending on that reduce to 15 20 minutes when we are giving the proposal it's our first presentation in front of everyone so there are chances of lot of anxiety missing few things deleting few things in nervousness it's always best to prepare more and then even if some things get cut you will come back to 15 to 20 minutes so that is the ideal way of sticking to time limits if you go little overboard also extra is not a problem but if you explain less then it reflects on the way you have done literature review okay moving on to some questions that are there when it comes to phd proposal how to overcome fear and anxiety before proposal the only thing to do is practice uh, what i used to do is practice three times in the morning three times in the afternoon three times at night so this you do it for a week and you will be things should flow out of your mouth okay you should be so prepared that you don't have to look at the slides slides is for them slides are not for you secondly are there any publications required for phd proposal no the you don't require any publications for presentation of proposal for the final thesis you will require presentation but for the proposal presentation you will not require it what gets your proposal rejected if you cannot convince the audience if the literature review is not done properly then these are some of the things that get a proposal rejected mostly it does not happen it's always better to do a literature review and be prepared i remember my time when i had given proposal presentation and it feels quite nostalgic it was good and i wish you all the best till the next time bye